Hello and welcome to episode 14 of my Newcastle United Ultimate Career Mode. And as you can see, we are finally in the January transfer window, 1st of January 2019, where we can finally get some players in that we desperately need to help with the squad. In this episode, we'll be playing Manchester United at home and then we have Sheffield Wednesday away in the FA Cup third round. And we'll be concentrating on the squad, how everyone's doing, who I'm going to keep, who I'm going to sell. And I'm also going to bring in, hopefully, two new players to Newcastle United in this episode. Episode 15, it will be still the January transfer window and I'll bring you Chelsea and Cardiff. Hopefully, we'll be able to sign some players. Maybe some players will leave. And then in the last episode, I will bring you, in episode 16, Manchester City and the transfer deadline day. Uh, I've got no plans to go crazy in this window. I want to get about four or five people through the whole month. I don't want to change the squad completely. Um, I've already got players in mind that I want to get for the summer. These are just players I want to get that are going to help the squad going forward for this season and obviously in the next couple of years. So episode 16, as I said, will be Man City and the January transfer window. It might be a crazy transfer deadline day, depending on who we sell. If we get some big offers in with big money, then I might be willing to sell to then maybe hold on to the money and hopefully the board be Mike Ashley would be quite difficult. But hopefully he will, if we do sell and don't have time to bring anyone in and we don't struggle for the rest of this, rest of this season, hopefully in the summer, we get a bigger transfer budget to get the players that I'm looking at for the summer. So, as I said at the, at the start of the video, I'm hoping to bring two players in in January. However, I have already brought someone in for next summer as his contract was already out. So let me show you who that was. And that was Miguel Amron from the, from the MLS, who obviously Newcastle signed in real life. Now, when I saw that Newcastle brought him, I thought I'd have a look to see how much he's going for at, uh, at, in FIFA 19 to see if he will fit. Because I, as I said at the start of episode of this career, I wanted to try and make it as realistic as possible with the players that are going to come in. Now, as obviously Newcastle brought him in real life, I thought, let's have a look. I didn't want to spend massive amounts of money on him because obviously Newcastle don't have loads. But luckily for me, he was out of contract so I've come in, and I've done it off stream, obviously, because he was out of contract and Newcastle already brought him. So I didn't think to show you the transfer negotiations, but I just wanted to show you what I've done. So obviously on a free transfer, he's cost me nothing, and he, is wor he was worth £26.5 So it's an absolute steal. 40 grand a week, four-year contract, and I've made him a critical part of the squad. He didn't ask to be critical, but, but I feel he will be, because bringing him in, I'm going to be playing at the start of next season. I'm going to go with a 4-2-3-1. So I'm going to be playing with him as my cam. He's going to be my starter. So with that one transfer, he has made me change the way I'm going to play next season. So that is my first transfer and our first free transfer of this window. So being that the transfer window has opened, I obviously made some... I, sorry, I sold some players at the beginning of the season where I disabled the transfer window so I couldn't buy but I could sell so during the market being closed we've had offers coming in that you can see on screen so Freddie Woodmain has gone to Middlesbrough on loan um, Newcastle have got a lot of goalkeepers so it was a no-brainer that I didn't need him Kieran Clark has gone to Marseille again Newcastle had a lot of centre-halves and I felt I was never going to use Kieran Clark so I've got Got, of, got obviously his wages back to the club and got some money in. The Spanish striker that they signed from Stoke, Yoshalu, hopefully I said that right, he's gone back to, he's gone back to Spain. Um, so again, got him off the books. He was on like 30 plus. So got him, got him off the books. And Rob Elliott, another goalkeeper, again, they had a lot and he was obviously the oldest. Been in a club for, for a long time, but again, no, someone I was never going to use. So I just got over a million for him, and he was on 20 plus. So we got some ways in. So let's see what that's done with the ways budget and our transfer budget for January. So as you can see, we have a transfer budget of 36 million 
and a wage budget of 225,000. So hopefully I can get in my four or five players that I want. And they're not, and with the players I'm looking at, they're not obviously superstars that are costing millions because, again, as I said at the, at the start, I'm going to try and make it as realistic as possible. So we could probably get those players in and not have and be in with the budget, but there's probably going to be players that are going to go. Some players have performed well up to this point, so their value's gone up. So if people are interested, then, you know, with one sale, I could you know, maybe almost double this transfer budget. So let's have a look at the squad that I've been working with. So here is the squad. So the top is Freddie Woodmain. As I said, he's already gone on loan to Middlesbrough. He's 21. Um, six foot two, I think it's quite small for a goalkeeper. I know he's young, but I'm not sure I'm ever going to use him. Um, so I will probably... I mean, he's only got a year left on his contract. He's not worth a lot. He's only on 4K. I probably will sell him in the summer. Next, obviously, we have who was our number one up until the last episode. Martin. Um, again, six foot three. I don't think that's very tall for a goalkeeper, personally. Um, he's been okay, but for for... Eight and a half million, and he's gone up thirteen percent, and he's on thirty-four grand, and his release clause is almost fifteen million. I would quite happily sell him if I got his release clause. I think that's huge money for a twenty twenty-nine-year-old. I know he's gone up an overall rating, but I just feel if I want to go to that next step, maybe push for Europe, I'm going to get. I'm going to need another goalkeeper in. I have a goalkeeper in mind. I will show you that, but again. I won't be getting him in until the summer because who I'm looking at has only moved to the club this year anyway, so I can't make an offer for him. So that brings on me on to Cole Darlow. I put him in last episode against Liverpool at Anfield and Watford away, I believe. Hopefully I haven't got that wrong. But the saves he made were very good. And the goals that he conceded at, at Anfield, because he kept a clean sheet with Watford, I don't think he would have. I don't think other goalkeepers would have saved him anyway. So I was very happy with him. So he's going to be my number one. And depending on how he does, maybe I look to buy a young goalkeeper in, and he'll be my number one for next season as well. He's gone up forty-one percent in his value. He's he's gone up two plus overall rating at twenty-eight. I mean, six foot three, again, I don't feel that's a very big for a goalkeeper. I mean, the goalkeeper I'm looking at is six foot seven. But again, we'll get into that when I show you the who I'm looking to get in. So, Cole Darlow is going to be our number one goalkeeper going forward. Jamie Sterry, not used. He's a youngster. He's 23. Probably going to move him on. Lewis Cass, again, not used. He's six foot one. He can play right back or a centre back and he's only 18. I might keep him, depending on what we do in the centre-halves. If I've got better coming in, then I'll probably move him on. Yedlin, star guy for me. He's been brilliant for me at right-back. Not looking to sell. I mean, every player has a price, but me personally, I'm not looking to sell. He's gone up plus three overall ratings, and he's only 25. I think he'll just get better for us. Uh, this gentleman is on loan, probably going to sell him. 21, just he can only play in one position, but I've got loads of centre-halves, so I'll probably sell him. Fernandez again, haven't used him at all this season. No, he's not played a game. Uh, and I think he's only, he's got a year left, he's worth five and a half, and he's nearly on 40k. I'll be selling him. Maybe even in January, depending if I'll get an offer. Watts, not used, but he's six foot three and can play in three positions: centre half, CM, and a striker. So I might keep him just to see how he how he progresses. Now, this is one of my youth players I have scouted: Oliver Delacour, centre half, centre midfielder, a seventeen from France. Got him through the from the youth. Again, he's only six foot. I like a taller centre half, so I'll probably play him in the centre mid because his physical his physical stats for 
a centre midfielder at 17 look very impressive. So I'm looking forward to seeing what overall we can get, Oliver. Showing great potential as well. So he is one of the three youth players I've got in. Haven't showed you that, but it's time that I'm showing you him. I uh, can't remember if I've used it. Oh, he's played a few times. He's been okay. Again, he's only been on if I've had injuries or suspensions. Um, again, I'm, I'm looking for some centre-halves. Maybe not until the summer. So he, being that he'll be 28... Um, and he's worth he's worth a lot of money for a twenty eight year old for next season. I might move him move him on. I'm not sure. So share I have used the most with Lascelles. So and share has been very good for me. He scored a couple of goals I think as well. When I say couple, maybe one. He scored one goal for me, but he's been very good. So I'll be keeping. I'll be keeping Cher and only at 27 as well. Hopefully he can maybe get up to an 80. And then next comes Captain Lascelles. Just brilliant. Gone up three ratings as well. He's an 81, so he's our best player in the squad. He's our captain. He's 25. He's English. Again, like Yedlin, he's the guy that I want to build my team around. He's, he's, he's brilliant. Not used. I only used him in the cup game where we lost against Brighton. Um, only 24. But again, if I can get almost 11 million for him with his release cause, I'm probably going to sell him. Now this, Mulder, is our second youth scouted player. Uh, another defensive player, but he can play left back and centre half. Again, only five nine, so I'm not going to play him at centre half. He'll be he'll be my left back, but he's got a five star weak foot at seventeen. And again, his stats for a seventeen year old. I'm hoping he could be another absolute gem that we found and showing great potential, just like Oliver Belcour. So that is our second youth scouted player brought in. Lazar, I tried to get rid of in the summer and during. The first part of the career mode. So again, if I get an offer, he'll be going. I just, I'm just not going to use him at 26. Get 12 grand back. Paul Dummett has been very good for me. Again, like the goalkeeper position, I'm going to need to get someone in that's just going to be that next player up. Maybe a 78 overall, and hopefully potential of going up to an 82, maybe even 83 if I want to challenge for European and to win the league and obviously win the Champions League, which is the main goal. But for now, he's been, he's been very good. You know, he's not gone up in an overall rating, but he hasn't gone down. I mean, he's only on 33,500. So just, just a steady player, so I'll be keeping him. Isaac, Isaac Hayden. I'm not sure about him. I mean, I play him. He only comes on at subs or, again, if I need to swap any players out. So he's not first team. But he's only 23. He's got a four-star weak foot. He's six foot one. I think he's everything that you'd want in a defensive midfielder. But I just... He, something just doesn't click. I mean, he's not on a lot of money. I'm not going to get a lot of money for him. So he's probably going to be a squad player still. Um, unless unless he starts to um, grow overall. Jack Callback, he's been on loan. Probably wouldn't have used him if I've got him, so I'll be selling him in the summer. He's only got a year left. Matt Ritchie, he's played obviously every game. A couple of episodes now, he's really frustrated me. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's got four traits as well, but just something doesn't seem right. I mean, he's losing ability. As you can see, he's lost an overall rating. And for someone, he's losing, he's lost 7% of his value. And for someone who's on literally 45 grand a week, I'm probably going to be selling Matt Ritchie. The only decision I have with him is, do I get rid of him in January if I get an offer? Or do I wait until the summer? But he will be going. And because he'll be going, Jacob Murphy will stay. Because he's 23, he can play in exactly the same positions as Murphy 
that sorry as Richie. So I already have cover and he's already gone up two and I've not used him as much as I have Richie. All his appearances has come from subs and he's already gone up an overall two rating. So maybe he could be a little hidden gem that we've had in the squad. Cullen Roberts, not used. Um, again, I have cover for the right and left. So I'm not, not sure about what I'm going to do with him. He might stick around. Sean Longstaff, I'm going to keep because when I've had him on the pitch, he's been quite good. Uh, I know I've only played him twice, but when he's been on, I've noticed that he's quite a good, he's quite a good player on FIFA. So I'll be I'll be sticking with him. Key, I like him. He's a good player. Um, four star, four star. Six foot two as well, so he's he's good height for that midfield for me. But twenty nine, he's not you know obviously he's not getting any younger, he's not gained any any uh, stats, but he hasn't dropped any. He's still an overall seventy six. Value hasn't gone up. He's only got a year left, and he's on forty grand. So again, depending if I can get my midfielder in who I want to get in before the Manchester United game, that might decide what I do with key. Diame, obviously, has been an absolute pleasure. What a player this man has been. If I haven't had him and possibly John Shelby with the goals that he scored, I could be in the relegation zone. He's been brilliant. So I'm not selling. However, due to EA's stupid glitch, I gave him a new contract for a year when he had eight months left on his contract which I believe was in one of my episodes. But for some reason, EA can't understand adding a year onto a contract, so he should have had 18 months left. But he's done nothing. So he's got more money, but they've not added the contract length. So, so I could be losing him on a free anyway, which would be a disaster. But saying that, with how impressive he has been, he is dropping in his stats, and he's already dropped one on his overall rating, and he's dropped 6%. So even with how good he's been, he's getting worse. So maybe it was time in the summer to move him on, even though he's been very, very impressive. John Joe Shelby, I've had ups and downs with him, but his stats have been very impressive. He's only 26. He can play the CD, CDM role or CM. He's He's been going up in value and his overall rating. I mean, he's worth 13 million. He's got to be one of our most valued players in the squad. So I'll be keeping Shelby. This gentleman's on loan. I know he can play in three different positions, but he hasn't done anything and I doubt I'll use him. So I'll probably sell him. Again, Daniel, 21, he can play in three different positions. I'm probably going to move him on. I mean, he's not going to be on a lot of money, so no, he's only got six months left, so I'll probably just um, let him go on a free. Kennedy, been brilliant, would love to sign him. However, he's at Chelsea, so he's only got five months left on his contract. He's been brilliant for me. I know he's only young, but his value's up to 11 million. And I just don't think Newcastle are going to be able to afford him. So he'll be going at the end of the season back to Chelsea. But we do have Christian Atsu as cover because the other player who I want to get in in this episode is a left and right midfielder. And going forward, I want to use him as my number one left-sided player. So Atsu, again, will be uh, a squad player coming on off the bench. And stuff like that. Adam Wilson. Young. Cover again for the left back. So I'm probably going to keep him. He's gone up three overall ratings. And I've not played him. So I'm probably going to sign him up. He's only got a year left. But I'm going to see what he can do in pre-season. Next year. Victor Fernandez. I've only used him once. But I, I didn't mind him on the left. So another cover there for right and left. I'm going to keep him. In fact I think yeah. Um. I gave him a new contract, so he's got five years with me, but I did like him when I used him, so I'll be keeping him. Connor Cooper, 
young lad can play in three different positions. I'll be keeping him. Uh, he's got two years left, so I'll probably use him in pre-season in the summer. Yoji Perez at the start wasn't a fan, but playing him in the number nine position every game, I've got used to him. He's a good player. Um, he's gone up in two overall ratings. He's gone up 27%. He's now worth 11.5. I think when we started, he was worth nine. Again, I would sell him if I got a good offer for him. Uh, being 25 as well, I think we've got a good value in this gentleman. So I will be keeping him unless I get a good offer. Mutu, I will sell quite happily. I've used him a couple of times sparingly, but I'm I'm not going to use him. Um, and I would like to get a striker in through January, but that'll be later on in the episode, so I won't need him. And the young Yankee Torre can play left, right, and a striker. Six foot one, only eighteen. I'll be keeping him. He looks quite good. Dwight Gale's been on loan. However, if I get the striker in, um, I'll be moving on. Uh, just don't need him. And again, 40 grand and 6 million will do very nicely to add to the squad. Luke Charman, chairman, I will probably get rid of. Got no, Got no need for him and he's been on loan anyway. So that is the squad, and that is what I hope to do with the squad going forward. So let me show you the transfers that have already been agreed. So as you can see, already that has gone through is Mario, Mario Accardi going from Inter Milan to Chelsea for nearly 81 million. So Chelsea could be looking, needing to get people off their books. Huge signing already. He's valued at 65 and he's on 210 grand a week. Almost my whole wage budget on one player. Wow. So, looks like in episode 15, I will have to try and defend off Icardi trying to score against us, as I have Chelsea in the first game of the next episode. Liverpool have been busy. They have brought, is it Alex Tellez from Porto, the Brazilian left back? 41 million, valued at 28, 120 grand a week. I mean, I don't think they'll do this in real life because Robertson has been fantastic for them. But when I go down, you'll probably understand why Liverpool have bought a left back because they sold a left back. Next is Pezzi, if that's how you pronounce it, Benfica to Leverkusen. Don't really know about, about him in real life, but 35 million, interesting one. Arsenal have sold Hector Bellerin to Dortmund for almost 30 million. 43 grand a week at 17 he's valued. I could see Arsenal selling him in real life. The fans do find him a frustrating um, character. This again I could see happening because Cologne are in the second division in Germany. Timo Horn has gone to Napoli and Napoli I think have got an old goalkeeper. I think it's Arsenal's. Second choice last year, wasn't it, who they signed all two years ago? So I could see this happening. Six foot four. Valued at 24, and they only bought him for 27, so that's good business for them. Tottenham have sold Danny Rose to AC Milan for 16. Again, I could see Tottenham selling him in real life. Not sure if he'd go to AC Milan, but not too unrealistic. Mario Graspa, don't know him. He's gone to Napoli again. Oh, I haven't scouted him, so I don't know what he's valued. But Napoli have got two in. And the Newcastle reject, Luke de Jong, has gone from PSV back into the Premier League to Southampton for 13 million. Oh, and he's already out for three weeks. Wonderful business. Don't know who he is, but Leverkusen have made a second signing. 12 million. Is that Chinese uh, league? or Again, not sure. Cologne have sold their second best player so they're going to be struggling now Hector's gone to Sporting for 11 the young French midfielder from Paris Saint-Germain has moved on to Real Sociedad for 11 and then I think 
I'll go down, but oh, here's the left back. Why Liverpool have obviously brought that Alex Tellez because they did sell Alberto Moreno. He's gone to Germany for nearly seven million. So I like that in FIFA. I, I've never normally seen in career mode if they've sold in that position, they buy in that position. So that's nice to see. Here's my um selling of Kieran Clark. Got six foot, six foot. Got six million for him. Nearly seven. And he's on about the same amount of money. Oh look, he's only worth uh, six mil. So I've got seven hundred thousand out of him. Get in. Probably about on the same wages as well. Dos Santos has moved from MLS and gone back to Germany. Back to Germany. Gone to Germany. Six mil. Don't know who you are. Don't know who you are. Oh, Julia Hoylet. Gone to France. From Cardiff. Don't know who you are. Don't know who you are. Oh, there's my striker that I got rid of. Just over five. Oh, he's only worth five. 23 grand. Oh, he was on a lot more at my club. Or at Newcastle, I think it was on about 32. So I've got 5 mil for him. Don't know, 4, 4, not sure. Wow, 34 year old. Not sure, not sure. Yeah, now we're starting to get. Oh, leader sold someone. Now we're starting to get to the people. Oh, Cardiff has sold someone else as well. Bamba. And I think, I'll just show you the Rob Elliott transfer. There he is. He went to uh, Genk, Belgium League, for almost two mil. So the players I Hang on, contract is signing in six months. That's not very good of you, Genk. Would you give him that? A six-month contract? Fair enough. So they are the transfers. I'm I'm quite impressed. No like silly ones, not like Bournemouth have signed one of the best strikers in, in the world or anything like that. I'm I'm quite pleased with what um the CPU has done in the transfer market. And talk about transfers, let me show you the two and definitely the centre midfielder I want to buy before we go into the Manchester United game. So here he is, Ibram. Sanger, I've probably butchered that, so I'm going to call him Ibra for short. He's 21 from the Ivory Coast. He can play centre mid or defensive midfielder, and I need cover for that. He's valued at 8 million. He's only on 16 grand a week. Um, the board think I might need to offer 8.7 or up to 10.3. Now, I'm hoping I'm going to I can get him for about seven and a half. That's what I'm going to go in. At the beginning with so let's see if we can make Ibra our first ever signing in our Newcastle United career mode ah, welcome let's take a seat what a wonderful office Let's discuss the deal we want. I want a full transfer. Being 21, overall rating 74, he could be... He could be the new Diame. Transfer. Right. Let's hope he doesn't run out the door in a fit of anger. Seven and a half, please, sir. And just accept it. That'd be really handy. What are you saying? What are you saying? Ooh, 8.8. .8. And he wants a sell on clause of 10%. Okay. Now, this wouldn't be a career mode without uh, negotiating. So, let me give you what he's worth. with a 5% because that's how I roll. How about that? 8%? Fine. I'm happy to pay his value. I'll accept that. Wonderful. 
shake my hand. Thank you very much, Toulouse manager. I'm wearing exactly the same outfit. That's embarrassing. Ebra, don't let me down, sir. Do not ask for a crazy, crazy wage. Come to the tomb. Here I am waiting. Oh, he's here. Thanks for the assistant for letting me know. Caught me off guard. Right, 21. I'm going to offer him a five year contract. Oh, squad roll. Now, do I do, do I go critical? I'm going to go important. Although I do feel he will be a critical part of the player, I don't want to give him that in his contract. I'm going to say important. What's he saying? Ah, oh, good lad. It's already started off so well. Look at his face, he's so happy. I'm going to go with four. Four's fair. He'll be 25. And we'll know what kind of player he is in four years' time. Oh, he's nodding. I think we're on a, I think we're on a winner here. How long does it take you to say we would like you to sign him on a four-year deal? Ah, wonderful. Nah, not having a release cause. Hey? Oh, behave. Oh. Oh, no. I mean, it is 10 million more than what I paid for him. But I don't want one. Oh, I don't want him to walk out if I say deny. Ooh. This could be massive if this fails. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to deny. Oh, this could be horrendous. Ooh. Say fine. Please don't walk out. Oh, okay, fine. Well, this hope he doesn't ask for something like 60 grand a week. Whew. Yes, it's talk money. Oh no, now he's going to want me to do it. Oh, what do I say? He was on 16. What should we give him? 10 grand for moving? Hundred sign on fee. I mean, that might be big money for him. I'm gonna go with that. Oh, he likes that. Fantastic. Big move in the transfer market for the two. Ebra, the centre midfielder, is in. There he is. Wonderful. Our first ever player to move to Newcastle under my leadership. So, now we have secured the man that I've been chasing. Let's get him on the bench. I'm not going to start him. But he may make a brief appearance. Oh, maybe he might have to start because I play United next and my team's a bit tired. What's his weak foot again? Oh, it is a four. And he's on the, you know what? I'm going to have to play him, aren't I? So it is going to be a start for Sang Ibra Sangi. So. Yes, I would like to save. So before we get into the game, let me just show you the league table. We are 10 points clear from the bottom of the table.
we are 13th on 24 and Manchester United who we have at St James's Park are on 25 so if I could beat United that would be huge we'll go above Burnley depending on what they do and we'll be fighting for I mean look how close 10th well 13th to I mean you could argue 5th if I beat Man United, I'll be on 27. I'll be four. I'll only be three points behind Fulham if they slip up against Arsenal. I mean, that's a big game, by the way. Arsenal, Fulham, five points in it. Who else is playing that's close? Chelsea, Southampton, they're only a point behind each other, 10th and 7th. Everton, Leicester. Oh, what a what a game of fixtures! Wolves, Crystal Palace. Oh no, that's a bit of a. Oh, I'll tell you what, if Palace win that though, drags us all back into it again. There's some great fixtures on January the first. Spurs have got Cardiff away, and they're third. So, wow. Okay then, let's play Manchester United at home. Well, you recognise him, I know, but he's definitely on view today. The top scorer in the league, and it's live. And so here we go. The visit of Manchester United. Season, Can I beat the team that I support? Newcastle United's lineup. Deandre Yedlin plays Come on with now. Paul Dummett as the wide defender. Ah, the first Andrew touch Dummett for Ebra. A midfielder in good form. A wonderful today, pass. It's just the one striker in the side. Back to DR, mate. They've shuffled their pack today, it. Manchester United. David Shit. Dehaene starts in goal. Chris Smalling starts with Ebra Eric Ebra again. At the back. Here's Hayden having a chance because Shelby Jessica picked up an injury. Wide. Romelu Lukaku is the sole striker today. Damn it. It's Yedlin. Yedlin. Mohamed Diame. Yeah, mate. It's Kennedy, Kennedy again. Come on. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Yeah, mate. Oh, that was really awful. Well, but didn't trouble the goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe a little sighter for him now. Not good. But this hope we don't give Manchester United an easy game. Go on, Yeli. Really, the heartbeat nope. of the team. These central oh, midfield players as well. He's not slow. Yeli. Oh, that'll do. Powerful do that all game, son. Close enough to suggest. Have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. But, no. It's with Herrera. Oh, well, on Ebra. What a block. It's already going to be a hero, I can already tell. Shit. Lasell. Mohamed Diame. Diame. Damn it, you're gonna make a run, mate. Oh, that was naughty. Not a great Jesse Lingard. Yellow, innit? Yeah. It's Bit late, son. Oh, without question. Put his name down. Oh. Dear, oh dear. Okay. Do we work on trying to get him sent off? Lukaku. Oh, the wide man can show his skills here. It's a weak cross, well really. Done. Getting past the first defender. Okay, that's Good brilliant. Okay, let's play it safe. Can he take them off? Jamie! No, sorry. It's Ebra. No way. What a debut. It is. What a debut. Oh, I knew he was going to be good. And I automatically assume it was going to be Diame. Ebra hits it first time. And David De Gea, the best goalkeeper in the world, no chance. Oh, yes. 
What a hit, son. What a debut this could be. Well, well, well. So it's Newcastle United and eight front. million still. And uh, Herrera, Nemanja Matic. Let's get this ball back as quickly as possible. Go on, Josie Perez. Josie Perez, that's some work, son. And the fans are screaming his name already. Oh, look at this. Good position. They've Small in. very well into a quite a dangerous position now. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get oh, the arm, mate. Murphy. Oh. oh. They would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front. And they really could have oh, been. That was a nice effort. Yeah, they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think it was that close. But still, encouraging. Right, damn it, you win that. Great header. Kennedy. Oh, just worried about the rain. Brilliant. Only, in that it's uh, impairing a bit Eber of the again. of the proceedings out there on the pitch. Yeah, well, nice and dry up here. Right, who's in the box? Uh, unlike the players, uh, he will be pretty wet. Oh, the corner. This is fantastic. I need, to cut, need to try and get a second one here, though. Very uh, good effort earlier, wasn't that, Alan? Here it is. Oh, to Haya almost. Hayden. Oh, we hit the part. Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Not only is it hit the post, it's gone straight back to the Haya. Oh, I really wish I didn't press O then when I went to tackle. But well, we are rocking Mourinho's United. It would have put a much different complexion on this match. What an effort from Hayden. Still game on. Bit of first half misery for Manchester United. Now the oh, oh, I thought that was going in. Apologies, I got far too excited. Oh, wow. Come on, lads. Can we keep this up? This has been brilliant. At that. Oh, oh, oh no. Lukaku. Here's Martial. Oh, now this is an interesting oh, no. attack. Oh no, oh no, Anthony oh no, I'm running away. Oh, save, Darlow. His first thing he's done, he's taken May United 40 minutes to produce their first real attempt. Big save, that. Oh no, it was a bad corner, but it was a bad clearance as well. Far too close. Well done, Darlow. It's all calmed down now, gents. Playing the ball around in their own half. Maybe some threat to their lead. Oh, damn it's off again. Oh, that's not good. Hayden? Ah. Oh. It's come to nothing in the end. Got cocky to do it again. He could cross it now. No way. Oh. Got in the way. Lucky Ebra. Right, Kennedy. On the money. Oh, it's too close to the higher. Unlucky, unlucky. Good off, gents. Absolutely fantastic. Ebra has been brilliant. Oh, there he was. Look at that. One signing has lifted morale the roof the noise that's coming out of St James Park from that one signing see Mike Ashley that's all you need to do man give him a, give him a little bit of hope Manchester United get the second half underway right now United can't be as bad as what they were in the first half so we need to watch out yet Pogba. And it's well, out done it there is miserable Mourinho for a now brief... Kennedy. Oh no, oh no. Well done, Kennedy. Has it been thrown now after the tackle? <laughs> Antonio Valencia, Pogba, Nemanja Matic. Hayden, you've let him run off you, mate. Ooh. 
Now Anthony Martial. Treads it. No. Oh, Darlo, that's brilliant. It's all about positioning and spreading his body. Absolutely brilliant. Decided that this time they're going to play the short corner. Pop back. Oh, are you serious? Well, it's a difficult skill, and you get it off a fraction, and that. Oh, that's frustrating. The goal then for Manchester United. It's a shame that. All about the delivery from that corner. It was spot on. Another angle on it here. I was hoping he was going to spoon that. Every manager wants to see his team have bounce back ability. Yeah, so all right, mate. He's just seen that from his players. Oh, don't worry, boys. I don't deserve this. So away we go. At Come on. Oh, that as well. Oh, I've got that. Oh, mate, he is quick. Oh wow, I thought that was going in. Frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Oh, I mean that was all my fault if that win him. Hayden. Deal has been done by Chelsea and the new signing is ready to go. Yeah, the selling club pushed them all the way and in the end got around 80 million. That's a great ball. Attacking now. He's for the front Perez! Line. Yes! Oh, it's a wonderful goal! Josie Perez has come up with a huge strike. Header. What a moment. St. James's Park erupts. What a good moment and a good goal. Great bit of play. Well, he could hardly miss and this that. time, right a cross a goes to a man. That was poor marking. Well, Too close to high. I could do nothing about that. Again, yes, Yosi Perez. It's his fifth goal. Oh, come on, guys! Come on! Yeah. Right, I'm going defensive. And. I'm going to make some changes. Uh, I might do that. I'm going to put Richie on. And I think that will do. Yeah. Just a case of finding the spare man is always available in their own half and the opposition letting them do this at the moment, although they are trailing. It's Yedlin. Murphy. Now some width in this a lovely Newcastle ball. attack. DeAndre Yedlin. Oh, it's lovely passing this. They're knocking the ball around with such confidence. Yeah, it's the understanding between those players down there. They seem to be reading what each is going to do it's before the they've done it. Oh, sorry. Not a threat at um, the moment. But getting annoyed that I'm getting that wrong. There's the old man. Hayden. Ibra. He's thinking about it. Oh, could have been two. I mean, that must have been close. He fell on the floor. Mm, maybe not that close. Ah, Richie on for Murphy. Newcastle ball and keeping the lead. The noise levels have gone up even more. This is brilliant. And Richie, I see you. Remains the same. The one goal lead. Come on. We're into the last ten minutes. No, you can't let Young beat you like that. Referee. It was a gentle nudge. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No. A horrible, horrible thing that was going to loop over. No, why? Where is everyone? That's my ball. Oh, close to an equalizer. Oh, Paul Pogba. So unlucky with that effort. Oh, my. Okay, just pass it. Don't need to do anything silly. This is a huge three points. 
That's it. Brilliant boys. This is brilliant. What a way to control the game. Oh, yes. What a result. Huge result. Really bad weather today. Absolutely really bad fantastic. Yeah, we forgot about the weather. Only ten minutes in because it was so entertaining. Great stuff. Should have been a clean sheet. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Well, Brilliant. Man of the match. Coming in to a new league against one of the chance. best teams in the world. Today, scoring on your debut for the tune and beating Manchester United. Excellent performance. Excellent. Look at the possession. And there he is. Newcastle Seal, Ibrahim Sanger signing for 8 million. Let's see this beautiful man with me. Ah, oh, this is brilliant what FIFA have added here. Just this little 10 second clip is brilliant. So if we view him, how much is he worth? Oh, okay, so I've bought a mil over his value currently and he's showing great potential. Boom in the squad hub. There he is. I mean, look at that. 9 out of 10 against Manchester United on your home debut, and he scored. Fantastic. Oh, yes. I think we've. I'm pleased with this signing. Very pleased. Only on 26k as well. Very pleased with that. Now we need to decide. Shall we play him in the FA Cup with a few of the youngsters as he's new to get him used to the way that we play? Ah, oh, good news before the FA Cup game. John Joe Shelby is cleared. But he's not fully fit. Interesting. Good news though. And we do have a transfer offer for a player that I said I was happy, happily to sell. Hurricane, 770. Oh, he's worth. Yeah, I don't even think I'll. 770, I'll be, I'm pleased with that. Get 12, get 12 grand back on the weekly wages. I'm just going to accept that. So our first signing. Ibra, our first, hopefully, our first player sold. Lazard, 